I've been wearing the hat, so if you don't recognize me, it's... <laughs> That's who this is. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Nigel Whitson, gender non-conforming, interdisciplinary artist, live performance instigator, writer, by coastal warrior. I am of the many and the much. My creative capital project, The Unarrival Experiments, is a book and performance work that gathers transdisciplinary research into Yoruba cosmologies and science with darkness as its landscape. This work began with my great-grandmother, Willie, a black Indian root worker from Wichita, Kansas. I learned of her from an aunt who died of cancer a few years later, like my mother, her sister before her, like their mother, my grandmother before them. I looked on both sides of my blood to the missing bones and the blank lines where names should be. Why were there no elders around me? As a black GNC trans person witnessing the increasing murders of transgender sisters and siblings of color, I wondered about my own possibility of stepping into eldership too soon. I asked what our ancient healers, our wise ones, had to say about all of this missing. I looked to Willie, whom, as I attempted to get closer, refused to materialize in gender or in body. This refusal, I have learned, is the work. I looked to Willie. Willie told me to look up. Dark matter, the enigmatic force so powerful it counteracts the pull of gravity upon the universe, preventing it from collapsing upon itself. Think about that. A moment in gravity. It must be said that gravity, although the most, one of the most weakest elements is, although perceived as the most powerful forces in the universe, is in actuality the weakest as far as those forces go, and it is its failing negotiation with the dark as we know it, in the universe as we know it, that makes it possible. For now, 96% of the universe is black and unknown. Black and unknown, dark energy, the aspect of the universe that early astronomers could not explain, Newton called it God, nothing. Zero is not nothing, it is the unseeable, unknown, uncontainable light, a black, so black, dark, it's dark, black. Dark matter is the body, the stuff. Dark energy is the motion that precedes. Thought causes the universe to expand wherein matter exists merely to make motion actionable. Thus, blackness is motion, then matter. Time is the space between an actionable matter and motion. The Unarrivaled Experiments, a text excerpt of which I just shared with you, centers the theories and mysteries of dark matter and dark energy explored through black, queer, and trans embodiedness. The performance experience ha ex experiments have been developed serially with a growing circle of artists and scientists that I call the dark matter cipher. In these ciphers, the texts and theories catalyze wild experimentation in pitch black spaces. The live convergences are survival strategy invoked for the quieted voices of black, queer, and trans folk. It will also serve a new model for our leadership, collaboration, and apprenticeship. My sibling project to this work, Oba Queen Baba King Baba, premiered at Dance Space Project in New York this past March. It's performed by my, yes, the new NWA project, my performance company, and traces queerness in the divine of black spiritual lineages while designed to be seen from above. Here, the cosmos are brought to the floor and the sky, queering free ancient technologics. Yeah. 
Archival experiments will manifest as an interdisciplinary performance installation housed within the development of new and integrated media amplifying the dark and a mixed genre book of writing. Through the wisdom of Willie, our bodiless and spirit guide, I make socio-political as well as creative applications that access astrophysics and technology through a reckoning with black premature death and African indigeneity. I ask, I ask, what if these bodies refuse to become and exists in our unarrival? How do you see something you can't see? What else is black and unknown about my body or gender? I seek to create a panoramic installation performance environment for this work to function as a galactic space. And to further this inquiry into darkness, we'll collaborate with scientists on, its, on a first of its kind dark material that will uh, confront a growing problematic of contemporary art, literally creating and owning blackness at the discard of black people. And what we know from our cosmic teachings is that without blackness in our universe, we do not exist. We have been fortunate to receive a commission from IMPACT as our premier partner and residencies with the Boliasco Center, Gibney Dance, Camargo Foundation, Hedgebrook, and Watermill. The next moment in the work aims to focus the installation and performance components with art, science, and technology partnerships. What is needed is a publisher for the full-length book, research residencies, fellowships, or organizational partnerships at observatories or international biosphere reserves in partnership with native communities in unique astrological environments like Hawaii, Alaska, or West Africa. Scientists and makers interested in the development of media and dark matter inventions, funding support for our QTPOC apprenticeship model, which will equitably pay black and of color, queer, trans, and gender nonconforming folk, artists, scientists, and technicians. Commissioning partners for the tour of the work, producer and management support with anti-racist and anti-colonialist frameworks, and my big ask, real space travel. So, This is astronaut Nigel Whitson of the Unarrival Experiments mission. Thank you.